besties hope you're doing well hi welcome back to another video welcome back to another vlog a book vlog to be specific a fall book vlog to be even more specific i think this is my best book vlog yet i think this is my best book haul yet i think this is my best to be read yet like i am so excited about the books we got today so if you're new here hi my name is ariana i always make vlogs but sometimes i make vlogs about books and these specific bookstore vlogs so we do this little intro this is specifically kind of a fall cozy book vlog you'll see but i was on the hunt for very cozy fall books you just want to snuggle up and read to it's been cold and rainy where i live so i've just been in the mood like a lot of my books that I have right now are very like summer based, you know, so I was like, you know what, I need a good book, maybe a little dark academia, maybe some classics. Normally I go for like, you know, the cliche romance, which I did get some of those, but I really branched out and I'm excited to talk about the books that I got. Normally what we do is we do this little intro where I'm like, hey, how are you? And I start this vlog and then we go and we go book shopping together because we're besties it's what we do and then we come back and i'm gonna talk to you guys about the books that i got and i'm also gonna recommend one or two more books that i already have um one that i've already talked about on this channel but i'm gonna talk about it again because i haven't finished it and i feel like it's very fall vibes so i feel like now i'm gonna be in the mood to actually finish it um and another one i haven't talked about yet so that's exciting as well so yeah welcome to the video welcome to the book vlog and let's go book shopping i'll see you guys when you get back Barnes and Noble it's literally pouring right now which is like perfect for the fall cozy vibes but I don't have my rain jacket so I'm gonna get soaked so maybe I might wait it out a little bit I don't know anyways we're here and we're gonna do some book shopping <laughs>
let's not get too crazy welcome back i hope you had a great time i had a lovely time at barnes and noble today honestly it was raining even though i couldn't see that it was raining like from inside obviously but just the vibe the vibe was there it was very cozy it was very fall i loved it i hope you had as good of a time as i did I got six books today at Barnes and Noble and like I said I have a couple more that I already have to talk to you guys about. A little bit of a fall TBR fall Rex. So the first book that I got is The Secret History by Donna Tart. I'm so excited about this one you guys. I did a little surge on Goodreads. By the way I'm diving into Goodreads. Give me a minute. Um, maybe I'll link mine down below but there's literally nothing on there yet. I'm I'm new to it, okay? I know it's taking me forever. So many, all my friends have told me to get it already and I'm just, I'm, I, I dropped the ball and now I'm behind. But I did a little general search on Goodreads and I found a list of like dark academia recommendations because I was like, this is what I need right now for fall. Like this is the vibe I need. 100%, this is what I'm on the market for. And this was top of the list. Then of course I had to go on TikTok and I had to search the book and I had to get the real, the real tea, you know, cause book talkers, they're how I know that. And, and the Goodreads, the Goodreads views were very real, right? Like so true. I don't know, book talkers, they just give you everything you need to know so quick. And that's what I'm here for, you know what I mean? So after all that, this was heavily recommended. So I picked it up, it was on a table. I think it was like, back to class or something they called it i love my barnes and noble they make the cutest little like tables and shelves for like specific themes they did one for like harry's house over the over the summer for like harry styles album like books that go with each song love their work incredible but this is the secret history let's read the back and see what she's about under the influence of their charismatic classics professor a group of clever eccentric misfits at an elite new england college discover a way of thinking and living that is a world away from the humdrum experience of their contemporaries but when they go beyond the boundaries of normal morality they slip gradually from obsession to corruption and betrayal and at last inexorably into evil actually so excited to read a book like this i haven't read a book like this in a while but anytime that i have i've thoroughly enjoyed it so i'm very excited to read something like this especially for the fall it's just it's giving the vibes you know like oh i'm so excited about that one okay the second book that i got is the seven husbands of evelyn hugo this one is so highly recommended everywhere i've seen so many people read this and it has honestly been on my to be read list for like the longest time and i finally picked it up today i saw it on someone that i watch on youtube's fall uh like recommendations video for books and i was like you know what yeah yeah now's the time so i finally bought it and i'm very excited to read this i think i'm actually gonna really enjoy this book you know when you just like you hear about a book and you're like yeah i think i'm actually really gonna like that that's this let's read the back exclusive hollywood icon evelyn hugo is finally ready to tell the truth about her glamorous and scandalous life but when she chooses unknown magazine reporter monique grant to write her story no one is more astounded than monique herself determined to use this opportunity to jumpstart her career monique listens in fascination from making her way to los angeles in the 1950s to leaving show business in the 80s and of course the seven husbands along the way Bro. Evelyn unspools a tale of ruthless ambition, unexpected friendship, and great forbidden love, but as Evelyn's story nears its conclusion, it becomes clear that her life intersects with Monique's own in tragic and irreversible ways. Oh. Written with Reed's signature talent for, com for creating complex, likable characters, this is a mesmerizing journey through the splendor of old Hollywood into the sobering realities of the present day as two women struggle with what it means and what it costs to face the truth. I am so excited to read this. <laughs> the next book I got is The Love Hypothesis, a little bit of a book talk romance book. I couldn't go in there and not at least get one. I am so excited about this one. This one, oh my god, did you guys hear that thunder? It is reading weather for sure. I've seen so many people recommend this. Um, it's like a college romance. It just sounds so good. 
let's just read the back, right? Even though you probably already know about this one, but anyways. As a third year PhD candidate, Olive Smith doesn't believe in lasting romantic relationships, but her best friend does, and that's what got her into this situation. Convincing Anne that Olive is dating and well on her way to a happily ever after was always going to take more than hand wavy Jedi mind tricks. Scientists require proof. So like any self-respecting biologist, Olive panics and kisses the first man she sees. The man is none other than Adam Carlson, a young hotshot professor and well-known ass, <laughs> which is why Olive is positive, positively floored that Stanford's reigning lab tyrant agrees to keep her charade a secret and be her fake boyfriend. And when a big science conference goes haywire, putting Olive's career on the Bunsen burner, Adam surprises her again with his unyielding support and even more unyielding six-pack abs. Stop. Suddenly their little experiment feels dangerously close to combustion and Olive discovers that the only thing more complicated than a hypothesis on love is putting her own heart under the microscope. Slay. This one, it's, it's just, it sounds cute. It sounds, you know, cute. Little college read, little college romance we love. Very excited about that one. Like I said, I was branching out a little bit today and I was just exploring all of the sections in Barnes & Noble and I found myself in the aisle with the classics, uh, like classic reads, classic literature, you know? And I grabbed two, two that are like extremely classic and possibly borderline cliche, but I don't care. I am excited about this. So the first one I got is of course Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice. I am so excited to read this book. I can't believe I never, I've never read this before. I can't believe in all my English classes that I've taken and everything that I've never been required to read this. I don't know how I'm just now here, but I'm here and I'm excited to read this book. I'm gonna read like the synopsis, you know? I'm gonna read it off my phone because this one doesn't really have one on the book, so here we go. Since its immediate success in 1813, Pride and Prejudice has remained one of the most popular novels in the English language. Jane Austen called this brilliant work her own darling child, and its vivacious heroine, Elizabeth Bennet, as delightful a creature as ever appeared in print, the romantic clash between the opinionated Elizabeth and her proud beau, Mr. Darcy, is a splendid performance of civilized sparing and Jane Austen's radiant wit sparkles as her characters dance a delicate quadrille of flirtation and intrigue, making this book the most superb comedy of manners in Regen Regency England. This sounds incredible. I'm excited to sort of dive into some classic literature. I think it's going to be very good, and I'm very excited about this. It's just, it's a classic. That's why it's in the classic section. She's beauty, she's grace. Also, the cover without this cover is just beautiful. There you go. Can you see? It's just, it's so fall, right? It's so, it's, I love it. It's so good. I'm so excited to read this book. And I got one more in that section. So let's talk about it. Okay, then the next classic I picked up. This one is such an exciting purchase. It's The Secret Garden. Okay. I already have a copy of this, well, it's my mom's, but we share books. But this cover, like this edition that Barnes & Noble had, I was blown away. Can you guys see this cover? Isn't it so pretty? And then the gold pages. Oh my gosh i was literally in the aisle like looking at this like this cannot be real the colors are so fall this is such a good read i've started it before but i haven't finished it and i'm actually going to finish this book this time because i am so excited to read this and i'm just so excited to have this version it's so pretty like i can't get over it let's read the little excerpt on the back. Orphan Mary Lennox is sent to live with her uncle at Mizzle White Manor, a remote mansion in the Yorkshire Moors. She is a lonely child and miserable until she stumbles upon the key to an overgrown secret garden that has been locked for 10 years. The discovery brings a miraculous change in Mary and leads to Mizzle Thwaite Manor giving up its dark secret. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? Like, you really, you can't go wrong. It, it, this is, it's so pretty. This might be one of the prettiest books I own. They had so many pretty covers of all the like classic books and I was, I was, it was so hard not to get them all. Honestly, it really, really was. I was like, 
literally me in the aisle and it's just like <laughs> they're so pretty and the last book i got at barnes and noble is actually a poetry book like i said guys i really branched out but this is a book that i literally pick up every time i go into barnes and noble and today i finally just said just get it i have wanted this book since it released honestly and i can't believe i finally have it it is film for her by orion carlotto you guys orion i have followed orion literally since her like 2014 tumblr days she has been my aesthetic queen for what feels like my whole life honestly i love her i've always loved her poetry that she shared on like social media i'm just so excited to dive into poetry i haven't read poetry in like this amount since like i was in college so i'm very excited to get back into some poetry just gonna have this book around it's so pretty it's a combination of her photography and her poetry and it's just gorgeous like it's just it's just so nice i'm so excited to read this book let's read the little excerpt film for her is a storybook of people places and memories captured on film through photographs poetry and prose orion carlotto invites readers to remember the forgotten and reach into the past and find comfort in the present and make sense of the intangible future film photography isn't just eye candy it's timeless and romantic the ideal complement to carlotto's writing I, I actually I, I'm like starstruck over this book like I can't believe I have this book I swear guys I literally pick it up every time I'm in Barnes and Noble and I'm like no I won't get it yet I have wanted this since she released it and I finally have it and I am so excited like actually I am like over the moon like I can't did I not say best book best book haul yet in my opinion this this is it this is the one <laughs> the other two books that i already had that i wanted to recommend for some fall reads are the inheritance games and a lady's guide to fortune hunting i've already talked about the inheritance games so i'm gonna spare you guys you guys can go back to i'll link whatever book vlog it was but i already talked about this one but i highly recommend it's big fall vibes and it's a trilogy the third one just came out recently so dive in dive in highly recommend love love that book and then the other one is a lady's guide to fortune hunting this one i'm actually in the middle of reading my mom recommended this book to me um it's kind of like bridgerton vibes um i'm gonna spare you guys the excerpt i will link down an i will link an excerpt down below but it's it's big like bridgerton vibes that sort of thing you know it's 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 that kind of vibe it's that kind of vibe um but my camera's doing this weird thing where it's like we're heating so we're a little limited on time right now in terms of me talking but just know i highly recommend these two big fall vibes they're on different spectrums though so definitely take the time to look into them and see if they're a fit for you highly recommend